What's up everybody, it's your boy Steve from the Wives Corner and today we're going to be reviewing the Sagamon Mother Road Spirit Series watch. Inspired by Route 66, one of the most iconic roads in America that goes from Chicago all the way to Los Angeles, limited to 310 pieces per color dial variation. Part of the Spirit Series, meaning that it re represents the empowering of the inner peace and the awakening of your soul. How super dope is that? Big shout out to Brian and Tyler, the owners of Sagamon, for sending this out for review. Let's go ahead and get this camera flipped around and get this show on the road. All right, buddy, before we get started, let's do a wristwatch check. I'm trying to get better at this. I have on the Marks Long Island Watch ISL 62 Kanji Wave Dial Samurai. With the Men of Zen bracelet, I am loving it. The review will be coming the way I have them stacked up now in about a month's time. Can't wait to do this review and to put it out. So, okay, before we get started on this, I want to show everything that comes in the package. When I unboxed it, I showed you, but I want to show it again. While supplies last, a Mother Road Route 66 passport. Talks about the famous road. You do get a Sagamon polishing cloth with the logo. I love their logo. That is super, super dope. Sagamon limited edition warranty card. You get the Mother Road Route 66 patch that you can put on a shirt or a jacket. Very cool. And you get the keychain, which is super, super dope. Then you get the Sagamon Watch Company Sagamon Dock Stainless Steel Card and the two-year international warranty stainless steel card. Very, very super, super dope that you get all that. Let me put this over here. And I want to show, here's a picture of the owners, Brian, and on the right, Tyler. So I wanted to show that as well. So, okay, we'll go ahead and do this review um, I got to be 100% transparent, like I always am and honest. This watch right here, it uh, had to grow on me. It, when I first got it, I wasn't sure how I felt on the watch, okay? I really wasn't sure how I felt, and it grew on me, <laughs> and I ended up really loving it. Um, you know, you can see the elephant in the room here is how much glare is on it. It is has five coats of AR coating on it, and it's a double-domed sapphire crystal. You can see as it protrudes there. And it's the black dial, basically, shows the glare really bad. I mean, five coats of AR coating is very good. So uh, the other ones don't seem to reflect as much that I've seen Brian showing on his actual personal uh, page on Instagram, I Love Sagamon. Now, I want to talk about the... The engraved back first because I reached out to Brian to explain to me their numbering system on the limited edition pieces. So you can see at the top, Mother Road, limited edition to the left. Now I want to draw your attention to this number here. It is DS002-31, okay? I want to explain what that means real quick. The D means it's a prototype. Typically they have 5 to 10 prototypes per collection for this mother road. The S on it means Sagamon. And the 002 means it's number two. And the 31 stands for the Spirit Series, okay? So it's D for prototype, S for Sagamon. 002, it's number two in production out of 31. So I just wanted to show that. It says Japan Movement, we know. 24 Jewels, Sagamon Watts Company, okay? And then, of course, you have the uh, Route 66, Main Street of America, 1926 to 1985, engraved on there. So I just want to explain that about the numbering system. So... Obviously, the non-prototypes are not going to have the D on it, okay? That's just for the prototypes. I want to explain that. I love the engraving on the back of the dial. So we'll go ahead, now that I explained that, because it was kind of confusing to me, I wanted to explain that first. Um, so we'll go over some 
measurements. Right now, currently, this is $289. I know these are going very quickly. Um, the case size is 44 millimeter. The case material is brushed 316L stainless steel. The case thickness from the crown to the case back is 12 millimeter. The lug width is 22 millimeter. Like I said, it's a double dome sapphire with five coats of AR. I love the leather strap that has the three holes in it for breathability, especially when it's hot like it is. It is the NH35 Seiko movement, which is 21,600 vibrations per hour, 24 joules, hand winding and hacking, obviously. Says automatic down here at the bottom. I like that in the orange and the uh, orange second hand. 41 power, 41 power reserve on it, 41 hour power reserve. Five ATM water resistance, you know, and of course I went over the case back and a push pull crown, not a screw in. Now, the only, like I said, the only, the only issue I have with this is the reflection. I mean, you can see me in the background here. That's the only issue I have. I love the dial. It's a mag rim of the uh, classic muscle cars. And uh, then in the middle, you can see it has the lugs. So I really like that. Uh, there's no loom on this, which is fine. You have the date at the three o'clock. Um, and then the inside of the inner chapter ring, it's a speedometer, goes up to 120. And then obviously you have the markings on the outside of the fixed bezel. But that's my only issue is the glare on it. It's basically just this black dial version. I mean, it's so glary. That is like literally my only issue with this watch. Other than that, I absolutely love it. So that is the bad for me is this glare. Okay. Uh, the rest is all, it's all good. I mean, I love this build, you know. I think if uh, you're a car enthusiast, I think it's a great thing. Now, the only other thing that kind of stinks is if you if you have a little wrist, like mine's a six and three quarter wrist and mine's in the last rung. So if you have a six and a half or a six inch wrist, it's going to be too loose and you're going to have to change the strap out, which I wish there would have been two more little adjustments. But from what Brian said, they made this for bigger type people, which is cool, but it would have been nice to have just two more adjustments in there. So like I said, I'm at the last rung on this one here. And like I said, it grew on me. I didn't really like it in the beginning at all. You know, it grew on me over time of wearing it, you know. Like when you do these unboxings, you put it on for a minute, you put it down, and you pick it up a couple of days later, and you wear it, you know. And uh, that is is what it is on that. So that's like my only complaint. Other than that, I like it. I love the Sagamon logo. I recommend this. It's just if you have a smaller than a six and three quarter inch wrist, it's going to be super loose or you're going to have to buy another strap for it, which nobody wants to buy a brand new watch. They have to immediately go out to get a new strap or, you know, or a bracelet for it. But that's the only two gripes is that that reflection, even though it has the five layers of AR and the strap not being for a little person. I love the oversized buckle that is uh, Sagamon signed is very, very cool. And it goes well, the the oversized buckle. It really does. So that's all I have for you. I definitely recommend this, but you better pick them up while they last because they're flying off. This series is almost done. I know that the multicolored bezeled dial one and bezel is, is sold out. There's only a few left in the white dial. I know there's the bronze and there's some in the black, but they are going quick. And like I said, they're limited numbers on them. So you got to get them while you can. So if you enjoy this content, please give me the thumbs up. It's the most charitable thing for the channel. Like and subscribe and comment. I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. I really do. And please remember, time is short. Let someone you care about know how much you love them today. Have a wonderful evening. All right, buddy. I forgot to mention this, but I did not get to keep the watch. The watch has to get shipped back, but I did receive... A Sagamon hat. But like I said, getting a watch or getting an item for free will never sway my opinions on a watch. I'm always going to be 100% real to you. I owe it to myself and I owe it to my subscribers.